One there, one there, one there, three here, one there. She's landing. That was a crazy pull. Oh, you got another one. Oh my God. Hi, babies. Welcome. I hear babies, guys. I think we're in for a big morning. There's one there. One there. One there. Three here. One there. You down. Oh, she okay? She's lambing. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Let's get to work. Okay, that was a lot at four in the morning. Okay, let me show you what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, she is in labor. She is in labor. This one had two. Uh, this one had three, but she rejected one. And she had two, right? And this is my one from last night. And the little one that I thought was gonna die lives. And the quads had to go back because they were absolutely useless. They would not drink. Oh, it was so frustrating. So Carissa got them all cleaned up again and put them back in the uh, bottle pen. So I have to deliver some lambs. Good Wednesday morning. Uh, a few little miracles happened overnight, which kind of overnight and kind of when Carissa was here instead of me. Uh, yesterday I could not get, I tubed a little black one right there, the little suffix, but it had really wonky feet. It was almost like it was clubbed over and it was almost, it acted like it had some neurological stuff happening, much like the little black one I had born. And with the little black one, um, after about Rex was here the one day and he said it wouldn't hurt if it looks neurological just to give it a tiny little bit of thiamine So I gave that one some decks because it had really raspy a really raspy chest and I also gave it some uh, a tiny little bit of thiamine and And for Carissa it would not drink So I tubed it before I left uh, But I just figured well, it's got claustrum, but it probably won't make morning and it's up and good. So I actually offered it a bottle and it took it. So I'm not sure if it hasn't drank off mom or what's going on. Like I don't know when this miraculous recovery happened. That's the problem. So it's got a little bit of colostrum. It's still holding its neck funny. It's just a little bit. Hi. You might. Oh, so it's hungry. Mommy's right there and she loves you. And the other little miracle, I showed you already, but let's talk about this one a little bit more. So, yeah, this one, I couldn't even get the tube. Like, I got the tube down his throat, but no milk was going down. So whether I got had the wrong hole, I'm not really sure. But uh, when I left, Carissa said, you know, an hour or so later, it was up. So she gave it 150 mils of colostrum. And she said by the time she left last night, it was on mom. So that's good. And like I said before, I put the quads, tried to foster the quads on her, but she wouldn't, uh, she was awesome. Like you was awesome. The lambs would have nothing to do with her. They just stood and shivered. So I told Chris, uh, okay, go wash them back up and put them back on the machine. So that was a bust for those ones. The biggest thing with fostering lambs, it's 50% the lamb. So if you have a lamb that's never seen a teat, never been on a mom, never even know what end is what, your chances of a successful um, bond is probably not great. What are you doing with your foot? What's wrong with this? Do I have to put a little splint on you maybe? Do I? Maybe that's why you can't walk very well. It's got a stiff joint. 
I don't think it's broken. It's just like she can't she can't fully extend it. Yeah. Lastly, I just delivered a very big lamb out of this ewe. Uh, its head was stuck in the in the birthing canal. Same with both its huge feet. Uh, so the head was the head was swelling up. Look your baby off, please. See how big the head was. So if I was much longer, uh, that would have been trouble for mom. So I've given her some painkiller, and I also gave her the lamb that no one wanted. And she has drank. She found the nipple, so I'm gonna let leave that one on her because she's not doing anything. And I fed this one about 200 mils of colostrum. So now I'm just gonna let mom calm down, chill out, and uh, mind you, she looks looks like the medicam's working. <laughs> And I did an internal on this lady. She's, she's, the lamb is coming out the right way. She's just not fully dilated. So I don't know what's going on with her. So I don't want to interfere. I want her to try to lamb on her own. Well, I went in for breakfast and this ewe still hasn't lambed. So I'm gonna just see if she's dilated. Cause I don't wanna wait too much longer. That was a crazy pull. So mom's in a bit of shock because that took, um, pretty much cleaned out my lube. It was coming out perfectly fine, but her cervix, her hole is just too small for this lamb. And it's just a single, which is too bad. I wish I had more lambs I could put on her, but. I think right now I'm just happy if she ends up licking her lamb. Sometimes if they enca encounter quite a bit of pain during delivery, they associate that lamb with the pain and then they reject it, but she was licking, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. I'm gonna give the mum some painkiller and uh, get this lamb going. Come on. Come on. You smell? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Get you some pink hair. I hear someone. There she is. I usually can hear them before I see them. What's the matter, Mama? It's coming. What's the matter? 
I see a no. What do I see? It kind of looks like a nose. I don't know about feet though. Lamb's coming out the right way. There you go. Here you go. You just did. Exactly like you just did. Okay. Good girl. There. There you go. Two babies. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, Mom. How did you sit three and you so high me? There you go. That's it. Three babies! Holy moly! Little Oreo! Hi! Couldn't see! You are such a good mommy! Oh, hello! Guys, welcome! Mama, <laughs> Mama? Lots of milk. Good girl. Hi, babies. Welcome. Welcome. I'm sure you don't have another one. I said that every time. But that's it, lady. Good mom. so much stuff on my camera you don't even want to know I'm gonna sit down for a sec because I'm really tired I've had so far five big pulls today these triplets weren't big um, just the first one was kind of lodged and she only wanted to put her head out first instead of her hand on her head we're into some smaller frame views I cannot believe that one had three in her because she's tiny like so I'll sit beside her so you can kind of get like not tiny but oh, she looks massive there she's really not massive she's a she's a little you anyways three some good news stories though Just a sec. I have successfully fostered the little baby down there and big head is the swellings come right down and they've been mom's tuner cut everybody's a happy little family and this you is finally up she took a long time to get up this morning this was a big lamb I don't know if you can tell the difference between it and like that one get them in the same frame like it's big 
But it seems happy. I saw it up before I left for lunch, so I think everything's okay. And then all morning I just tagged. I didn't get any tagging done yesterday afternoon because it was kind of a gong show. So we are at number, I'm tagged up to 59, up to number 59. And these are all the ones from today. So I have to tag them tomorrow. And there's another one in labor at the very back. And just like that, we have another one. <laughs> very vocal, these girls today. Mm -hmm. So a few things to look for when a ewe isn't just going into labor. Well, number one, if she lays down and looks like she's pushing, she's in labor. First of all, you'll see like a mucus plug kind of, kind of come out. Some discharge, not all the time, but hopefully you do. She'll paw, she'll circle, and she'll start being very vocal. Most ewes. Some peepsies. Some ewes some also like hollow out right there. Right there. Not hollowed out. She looks like... Of she swallowed a barrel so when she starts when she drops it could be uh, she could be in labor or beginning stages but if you don't see a you try to push then I don't try to interfere the only time I interfere is if she's straining for say more than a half an hour then I'd probably take her in do an internal just to see if everything's coming out the right way uh, and this, depending on what I'm doing, if I was on my way to the house or um, needed to be somewhere or do something, then I'll probably just help it out. But if I have nowhere to be and I got time to watch her, then I'll I'll just sit and watch and make sure everything happens okay. So she'll start pushing here. She's a good pusher. I'm just concerned with these ewes. They've just been hard pulls today. And they seem to be having singles, which are the worst, because they've been fed for twins. We have a little boy. Well, not a little boy, he's a big boy. But she did pretty much all of it on her own. I put it on Instagram Live, so I figured out a way to still share all my stuff with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been, when I can catch a birth that looks like it's gonna go okay, like without me having help, then I throw it over on Instagram Live so you can watch it right as it's happening. So you can check, I'll try and remember to put my Instagram thing, but it's in the description below. So yeah, I love doing that because then it's time for you guys to ask me questions and stuff. But already up, five minutes old. I have been thinking about doing YouTube Live, but Ah, without a moderator, I'm not sure if I should do that. I just, I don't know. Most most everybody that follows me on YouTube is really good, but it's those odd odd ones that uh, might make it hard for everybody else. That, and I just, I'm always scared the Wi-Fi is not going to be good enough. What do you guys think I should do? Do you want me to come live on YouTube? That's amazing. I haven't even checked her for another one. I was just about to do that. She's already drinking. We had another one. Mama had two. So I just 
got everything set up for loading lambs this afternoon. So, what I do have to do, oh, hello. What I do have to do is put these three, one, two, three, over there. Or just leave them, actually I might just leave them in this pen when I load the rest. And then I can separate them out and give them hey, hello my billies. The monkey. Hey. Look what the cat drug in. Another lamb. I'm not really sure how she fit four in there. But she did. Wow, good girl. My Billy's got left behind. What do you say? See ya. Alright, I'm all loaded up with, I had thought I had 20 lambs, I had 21, so I'm hoping I didn't miss one with my scanner yesterday, because I am probably pretty tired. I do have to say this, uh, I kept those black and white lambs for you guys. I don't keep ram lambs, it's kind of a thing, I like to bring in sound rams from uh, producers that do this for a living. Uh, but I am gonna keep my black and white ones. This is why I try not to get too attached to lambs because it does become hard on shipping days. Sorry, I'm turning off the heat. On shipping days to say goodbye. What I'm gonna do is when they're a little bit older, I'm gonna take them over to the to the uh, the U barn and put them in a little pen on their own. And when they are more mature, I'm gonna get Rex to come in and just do a ram, like a, a soundness check. So just make sure he likes their confirmation and their, uh, probably get them semen tested, do all the things that um, you should do when you get new rams that I never do because I just trust, I trust the breeders that do that for me. Just because I love them doesn't necessarily mean they can stay, they have to pull their weight. So I am gonna keep these guys because I love them but I don't usually do this. This is way out, out of my protocol. So, um, anyway, I'm off to the market, and it is weird, I must say, to switch gears from lambing out baby lambs to loading big lambs that are difficult sometimes, needless to say, especially when you're tired. Uh, an animal can sense when you're not feeling it, and uh, they will try to go backwards every time <laughs> they push. I usually can load lambs no problem myself, and it took both Chris and I, and we pretty much had to get every single one going. So, a little difficult, and uh, always a little more difficult when you're tired, but this is the stuff that needs to get done. Lambing, lambing is so time consuming. Uh, it's nice having Chris just to help with, with all that. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna listen to a podcast, and uh, enjoy my hour and a half tour. Take care, see you tomorrow.